Yes, sir. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are with my boy. I thought you were going to Will. <laughs> Dude, exactly, man. Will, he came all the way down here from Kansas. He's a hooper. He's like six Love foot it. ten. Dude, Love it's it. huge. I mean, I'm like six four. Look how big this dude is. Today we have the La Ferrari and the Bugatti Chiron. Chiron? Chiron. Chiron. The Bugatti. The Bugatti Chiron and the La Ferrari. All right, guys. So today we are going to be doing a comparison between two of the craziest cars, I think, in the world. What, would you say the two of the craziest cars in the world right now? Nah. Whatever. But <laughs> nah, I think the color side, honestly. But these are like the top, the top, top of the top. Yeah. Top one percent of cars. Okay. So we got a 2015 Ferrari La Ferrari and a 2019 Bugatti Chiron Sport. Bugatti Chiron Sport, Bugatti. Ferrari, La Ferrari, Bugatti, Chiron, Bugatti. I don't think you say Bugatti twice. But, yeah, these cars are sick. I know you've seen a lot of these cars on my channel, but I don't think we've ever done like a head-to-head -head type thing before. Head-to-head? Head-to-head? Head -to -head. Head -to -head. <laughs> before we get started, I want to introduce two people. This is my boy, Jeffrey. What's up, guys? He came down all the way from Kansas City. And my boy, Will. What's up, guys? They're huge fans of the channel and Gage's channel. So, yeah. Jeffrey is actually saying he's starting a YouTube channel. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, that's true. So, uh, I'm going to put his link down below. We're going to get that started, hopefully, I here. It, man. Thank you so much. Pretty soon. All right, guys. We're going to start with the La Ferrari. So, as you know, this has 950 horsepower. It's got a hybrid V12 engine in it. It's insane. I did a whole review on my channel already, so if you want to see more facts about it, uh, go take a look at that. But So this has a V12 engine and insanely loud exhaust. I mean, this thing is definitely the loudest car out of the hypercars that I've ever driven or been in. So love the red paint, the red colorway of Ferrari. It's like their color. And that's the thing about these two cars, Bugatti Blue, La Ferrari is red. It's kind of like the brand's home colors. One really cool thing about this car compared to the Bugatti is the doors go up. Doors do not go up in the Bugatti, and this kind of just adds a little bit of a of a flashiness to it, especially since Ferrari, a lot of their car doors don't go up. This is like one of the only cars, this one and the Enzo, that actually do go up. So this Ferrari, whenever it came out, had the highest power output out of any Ferrari ever made, and there's a couple cool things about it. Uh, all the gas and all the, do uh, the charger doors, they're all right here on the door. And Another cool thing is that this seat is actually built into the car. You cannot move this seat at all. You have to move the steering wheel forward and backward and the pedals down here forward and backward. So for tall people like my boy Will over here, who's like seven foot almost, he's only like six, eight, but it's very hard because this seat is built into the ground. The overall styling of this car is insane. I love the classic Ferrari red, but this thing is a track beast, but those are some fun facts about the Ferrari. Little comparison, we're gonna go over to the Bugatti now and see what cool stuff it has. So now we're onto the 2019 Bugatti Chiron Sport. This thing has 1500 horsepower, powered by a W16 engine. This thing is insane. Uh, it's a Chiron Sport, so there's only 60 sports made. It's a 110 anniversary edition as well, so there's a couple cool badging, iconic blue coloring, stealth matte black paint, carbon fiber everywhere, I mean, this is like the beast of the road. I, I don't think anything else can compare to this. Even though we're doing a La Ferrari comparison, in my opinion, this thing is just on a whole nother level. But even though the La Ferrari is probably faster around the track, the Bugatti has a top speed of over 300 miles an hour, and that is insane. So this is definitely the straight line car, and this one is gonna be the track car. But overall performance, it's hard to, it, you have to kind of pick and choose what you want. Top speed or quickness around turns in a track. So opening up the interior, this thing is insane. We have the iconic Bugatti blue. We've got the cool sport badging right here. And did I even mention this? The sun moonroof. This is like a seventy-five thousand dollar option. That, that's that's crazy. One thing that the Bugatti has that the Ferrari doesn't have is this has a top speed key. So you put that little key in this little slot right down there, and it unlocks like what an extra. 200 horsepower. That's 500. 500 horsepower. I don't know. It unlocks 2,000. It unlocks a lot more horsepower than the car would normally have just driving on the street. Like I said earlier, this car is the 110 anniversary edition. So you can see there's a badging right there in the center, where it shows all of the cool stuff that it has. 
but yeah this thing is crazy now that we've done a little bit of a comparison of both the cars let's ask the fans what they think so we got my boy jeffrey and my boy will will which one's your favorite one bro i love the sound of the la ferrari that italian v12 symphony you can't beat it but nothing beats 1500 horsepower in a w16 engine with four turbos so you're saying that you would pick the bugatti i would have to go with the bugatti Dude, that's crazy right now we're going on to my boy jeffrey which one What's do you good, think guys? I'm going to have to go with the LaFerrari. Absolutely the elegance, the classness of the car, it's absolutely mind-blowing. You see the red paint, you can never miss it with the doors going up. The V12 hybrid is something that is un unmatchable, so I definitely have to go with the LaFerrari on this one. We can race then, come on! <laughs> Shoot, we might have to go for a little race then. So we got one for the Ferrari, one for the Bugatti. I now! Mean, what is your favorite? Dude, uh, you know what the worst part is? Can't decide. Neither one, one of these, these, yeah, neither one of these are my favorite because yeah. my favorite's in the other garage, the McLaren Senna, bro. The McLaren Senna would dust both of these on the track, you know it. But if I had to pick out of these two, I don't know. I like the blue. Blue is like my favorite color, so I, I like the colorway of that one and the top speed of that one, but there's something about that engine noise, man, of that LaFerrari. It's, it's, I don't know, it's just a, such a hard decision. <laughs> Which one are you picking? Uh, probably fry. Really? Yeah. This is my baby. This is my baby. Oh! Boy, you built like a chicken nugget. Hey Chris, I was wondering uh, if I can smoke my car. Uh, what kind of car is it? It's a Bugatti Chiron. Do you have a Bugatti? Yes sir. Chiron? Yeah. And you want to sell it? Yes sir. Yeah, we definitely have to see it before we uh, give you any kind of... Alright. Because it's probably worth, I mean it's probably worth over, I don't even know where to begin with it, man. Like four million? Okay. Can you bring it in so we can see it? Yeah, it's possible. When do you want to? <laughs> <laughs>